Google DeepMind just announced Alpha Proof and Alpha Geometry 2, which is a powerful AI system that achieves 28 points out of 42 maximum points in this year's International Math Olympiad competition. This was only achieved by 58 out of 609 contestants this year. And this is what they would categorize as a silver medal level score. This is really amazing. You can see here the results. So this is the human participant rank, and this is where this particular system ranks. So that is truly impressive that an AI system can achieve this today. What we will do in this video is go through some of the details and what DeepMind has announced here. So I'll start with the TLDR. First, they are using, so what you see here is alpha proof what they are using to solve a few of these problems. So there are two systems. So it's alpha proof and alpha geometry. So we're gonna go through an overview of alpha proof first. So the alpha proof model is basically a Gemini model, which automatically translates natural language problem statements into formal statements. So that's referred to as the formalizer network. And, and then they use a solver network, which searches for proofs and disproofs. This is based on reinforcement learning. Then a solver network searches for proofs, disproofs, and progressively trains itself via reinforcement learning using alpha zero to learn to solve even more complex problems. So it's progressively training itself to solve more of these complex math problems. Alpha proof solves two algebra problems and one number theory problem. On the other hand, alpha geometry two, which is part of this announcement, a neurosymbolic hybrid system proved the geometry problem. It is based on a Gemini model and trained from scratch on large amounts of synthetic data. We are seeing the synthetic data again, how practical and useful it is as opposed to what other people are saying. And you can see in a domain as hard as this, that it's also very useful. So the two combinatorial problems remain unsolved. They were able to solve four out of six problems that were there. And again, they got 28 out of 42 possible points, achieving a silver medal level score in this year's IMO. And again, only achieved by 58 out of 609 contestants. Now for the combinatoric problems, it needs a dedicated model to achieve this. And I am guessing it's really hard to collect data for this particular problem or to train a, you know, a neural network to be able to solve this type of problem. There probably is opportunities to also use a hybrid system, but again, they weren't successful for this type of problem. So it'd be an interesting one to do more research on and what's happening in the space around this type of math problems. And overall, I believe there is a trend here, right? The research shows that combining large language models with powerful search mechanisms continue to accelerate complex problem solving and reasoning capabilities in these AI systems. And Alpha Proof, I think, is one of the latest and more successful examples that we have today. So you can read more details here. This is a TLDR, but you can read Jeff Dean has some more details on the announcement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a few minutes here also going through the official announcement here. But I already gave you the TLDR. So what I'm going to do here is just maybe details that I kind of missed and then kind of do some review here. So they explain why this is an important breakthrough right in AI. This particular type of problem requires you know, models to be used in a more sophisticated and more complex way. Right? We just cannot use a standard Gemini model, for instance, to solve this problem, but we are leveraging the language model to structuring certain problems into a language that the overall AI system can understand. So in this case, what they did was use this pre-trained language model, right, the Gemini model, to automatically translate natural language problem statements into formal statements, something that the system can understand better and can better tackle the math problems. So they created a large library of formal problems of varying difficulty. What they use here is they're leveraging this formal language lean. You can read more about it. Basically, it's used to prove these mathematical statements. This is the only way they can kind of sort of test. As I mentioned, it couples the pre-trained language model with alpha zero. So alpha zero, it, this whole system is based on the alpha zero. If you read the alpha zero paper, there is the use of Monte Carlo tree search. So this is showing you how you can combine RL, right? These tree based algorithms to do the search. And once you have this kind of search component, right, it allows you to reinforce and train these models to, to solve and to find solutions and to make them better 
or learn how to solve these complex math problems. So we're not throwing away any of the current advancements that we have done as a community. We are basically creating hybrid systems out of these, which is something I've spoken about a lot. They also share the details on Alpha Geometry 2. This is based or an improved version of Alpha Geometry. You can read more about that there as well. Another really, in this case, neurosymbolic hybrid system, uh, which is also based on the language model, the Gemini one, and trained from scratch on an order of magnitude more synthetic data than its predecessor. This is showing you the importance of synthetic data for problems like this. And this one solves basically the geometry problem that they had. One thing they share here is that Alpha Geometry 2 could solve 83% of all historical IMO geometry problems from the past 25 years compared to the 53% rate achieved by its predecessor. So that's a significant improvement in success rate for this particular type of problem. In IMO 2024, Alpha Geometry 2 solved problem 4, which is the one geometry problem, within 19 seconds after receiving its formalization. So what they share here is that the system, you know, the Alpha Proof system, solved one problem within minutes and took up to three days to solve the others. Probably could be more efficient, right, in terms of solving these type of problems, but still I think is still a lot of good improvement compared to previous models or systems. So that bit, those are the most important details. Um, do take a look at the blog post for more details on all the different links. Um, but lastly, they also share this particular quote, the fact that the program can come up with a non-obvious construction like this is very impressive and well beyond what I thought was state of the art. So this is by Professor Sir Timothy Gowers, uh, NIMO gold medalist and field medals winner. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one.